Hi everyone, this is Bethany Jeptumba and I'll be taking you through lesson 12 of the Generative AI for Beginners curriculum. In this lesson, we'll be covering designing your user experience for your AI applications. Our focus will be first understanding what exactly user experience is and then the user in user experience will be diving into what are their needs and how do we now build the different components of UX around the user. And lastly, we'll dive into the specifics of how do you build your user experience for generative AI applications. So let's dive in. What is user experience? User experience is the entire journey a user takes when they are interacting with the application. It's from when a user comes in, gets onboarded to your application and performs a few tasks, and then the offboarding of the user. That entire process is the user experience. How does the user navigate around your product? The main thing I've mentioned is the user. So we should also have in mind who this user is and what exactly their needs are. In our scenario, we'll be creating a fictitious educational chatbot and our users are two main users. One is the students. As a student, you might come into the application and have it you help you as a tutor to write essays and reports or come in and have the application generate summaries for you. And as a teacher, you may come into the application and have it generate quizzes for you or you may have pre-recorded videos and audios that you want to make accessible. So how can the application generate a transcript for you. In the entire UX experience, we have different components that make up how your user interacts with the product, how do you make sure their experience is okay. The first thing is the usability of the product. This means does the application function as it was intended to function? Does it perform its intended purpose? So for example, if a, if a teacher is coming in to generate Quizzes does the quizzes are the quizzes generated using the application. The other thing is accessibility. This means the application should be accessible to all, regardless of the different abilities and disabilities. And it should also be accessible regardless of the language a person uses. That is, if your application is meant to go global and reach different users. And for us, our application is primarily targeted to all teachers and students, so we should be able to ensure it is accessible for all. The other thing is reliability. We've been able to see that usability is around does the application perform the function it, intend, it was intended to perform. Reliability comes in when it consistently performs well, performs a different function well without any errors. And then, of course, once your application checks all the boxes, it should also be pleasant. Users should be able to have fun using it. It should be enjoyable and appealing to the different users. That's about creating your application. But what about creating your specifically your AI applications? The first thing you should be able to do is ensure you're designing for trust and transparency. So the question a user might ask is, does the response I'm getting correspond to the question that I asked? Users need to be able to trust the application, will deliver expected results, and they should do this consistently and accurately, especially an application that is bound to impart knowledge to the next generation. Building trust is critical as it ensures that the user is confident with the application that it will get the work done and deliver the results. Transparency comes in when you're able to also share with the users, this is the data we collected and this is how we are able to use your data. The key things around trust is ensuring the application gets the work done. It is reliable, it gets the work done over and over again, and the results are able to match what the user needs. There are two risks when it comes to trust, that is over trust and mistrust. Overtrust is when a user is very overconfident in the AI capabilities and they trust it too much to the extent they, they do not even verify. They just summarize and then go ahead and give the quiz to the students and stuff like that. That is an issue because generative AI is not 
100% perfect all the time. You, a user should be able to come in and authenticate that what was produced by the AI is actually true. The other thing is mistrust. A user can come from the background of this is AI, I don't trust what AI does. So those two are very opposite sides of the pole and we want the user to come back and trust the application. So how do you calibrate trust? There are two main ways you can calibrate trust. The first thing is explainability. Explainability is how does the application work? Does the user understand what the application work? Does the user understand what they're doing in the application? The first thing is, of course, in the onboarding. When I come into your application, am I able to know this is what the tutor does? So for example, for application, it's welcome on board to your AI tutor. And it doesn't really give you an idea of, okay, this is an AI tutor, but what can it do? What does it do? If you face it a little bit different, it tells you get personalized AI tutoring for any subject. It now gives you a clearer idea of what exactly the application does. The other thing is ensuring your explanations are succinct and simple, ensuring anyone, regardless of their background, can be able to understand what exactly the application does. So for example, in this example, we have a chatbot saying, hey, Bethany, I use a neural network to process information and generate responses. I might have the question, what exactly is a neural network, right? You might even not know, even if you're in tech, you might not even know what exactly a neural network is. But if you phrase it differently, hey, Bethany, I am a computer program that can answer your questions and help you learn new things, but I'm not a real person. That's a different phrasing of the sentence, and it's more clearer regardless of what the background the person is coming from. The other bit around explainability is how are you able to interact with the users depending on the access they have. For example, if it's an AI tutor and I'm a student coming into the application, I wouldn't expect it to give me responses and give me answers if I ask it a question immediately. It should be able to help me answer the questions that I have. For example, in this uh, student is, has a mathematical problem and comes in and asks, hey, can you give me the answer to this? And the AI chatbot is like, yeah, this is the answer. That's not right. What you should have your application do is instead tutor the student. So for example, the student comes in, can you give me the answer to this? And the response from the AI is, hey, there's a cool tool that you can use to solve the equation, which is a quadratic formula. And this is how it goes, so on and so forth. It's now acting more of a tutor versus acting as an answering machine. The other thing around trust, the second thing is control. Users should be able to have a certain level of control over their AI application. This means you should be able to control how exactly the application responses responses to your questions. For example, the Copilot extension on Microsoft Edge has a very good tool when it comes to Compose, whereby I can write a question, uh, give me Pani Pan's phone, a generative AI chatbot, and I can be able to use controls to say, yeah, I want it to be funny, I want you to give me ideas of it, and medium length. And even when it gives me a response, because, yeah, what do you call an AI that makes art a Picasso, which is very interesting, it will also tell me, give me room to be able to go in and edit, okay, can you send me more, or you can even add in your own suggestions, like, those are not funny, can you make them funny or something of that sort. This gives a user control over what responses you're getting from your AI application. Now we've talked about trust, but then the other bit is you've been able to trust that this application delivers exactly what it should be delivering. But then how do you give feedback when an error occurs? How does the user collaborate with the AI application to ensure the feedback is given, you're also ensuring you're able to improve your user experience? So you should be able to design for collaboration and feedback. The first thing is creating a feedback loop. A feedback loop allows users to suggest different 
improvements and suggestions they might have for the AI output. For example, you can have a thumbs up and a thumbs down for the feedback loop. So if the response is good, thumbs up. If it's bad, thumbs down. And you can be able to go ahead and even add more features. Like if a user says thumbs down, you can ask, OK, uh, can you give feedback? Why is, why is it bad? And so on and so forth. These features allow a user to come back and collaborate and give you feedback on the application. The other bit is error handling. Error handling is in case the application does not do as expected, how do you handle errors? So for example, a student comes in and asks, so what is the meaning of life? As an AI application that's been trained on just sub different subjects, you might be cautious to say, this is the meaning of life. So instead, the application should come back and say, hey, sorry, I've only been trained with data on history and math. I cannot be able to respond to the question you asked. This helps handle any errors that come up. So you should be able to figure out the entire scope of your application. How do the students interact with the applications? How do the teachers interact with the application? And how can you be able to handle in case an error happens? Yeah, and of course, as a good teacher, I will also leave you with an assignment. If you have built, if you have already built an AI application, the, the objective will be how can you be able to improve the user experience of that application. For example, you can say, how do you make it more pleasant? How do you wide your error messages? How does the user explore the application? Do you give room for users to, con to have control in the application? So you can go back, look over the different items I've mentioned, create a checklist and see does your application check all the boxes and yeah that will be your segment for today thanks so much and in conclusion designing the user experience of the ai application does not only require it to be functional accessible reliable and pleasant but you should also be able to think about how are you building trust with the users and also how do you foster collaboration and feedback to ensure your application is continually improving and the users have a positive user experience. Thank you so much and goodbye.